state your name and catenated rank? Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Ashmit Thakur. I uh, got an AIR 25 in ALIT and 38 in CLAT. So Ashmit, uh, congratulations. First and foremost, I think all the CLAT aspirants and maybe your colleagues would like to find out what are you choosing over NLS and NLU Delhi? So currently I'm planning to go to NLSIU Bangalore. And that's, uh, so you will be leaving Delhi for NLSIU Bangalore, right, that's right. amazing. Congratulations and uh, so tell us Ashmit, how did you decide to do law? So uh, basically uh, from the start I was intrigued by social sciences and in the longer term I chose to like pursue journalism but when I did my set of research it uh, came to picture that uh, NLUs provide a very good atmosphere you get to learn very much like many skills are taught there which are in the longer term beneficial if you want to pursue journalism so that is my story about choosing law uh, Ashmit, how did you go about preparing for CLAT? Uh, basically I was enrolled in the two-year program with CLAT Possible so I started back in May 2021 and uh, initially it was uh, like going about reading newspapers and getting to understand what was happening around the world and basically creating an awareness uh, about it and uh, as insights and that helped me achieve a better score. Uh, maybe you know some CLAT 24 aspirants would like to understand how did you balance this December exam with your school and boards? Did you divide time or how did you go about right, it? Right. So uh, in the start I was more of school oriented like uh, at that time I used to give only about 2-3 to three hours to my CLAT prep but as uh, the D-Day came closer I started to uh, put like my school work on the sidelines and gave more hours like about six to seven hours to CLAT preparation and yeah that's how I prioritized it. Uh, Ashwit, uh, did you have any weak areas in the section in the CLAT paper and how did you go about that? Right, right. Uh, so particularly uh, GK was my weak section and uh, I decided that I could not just stay there and crib about it. I will have to work harder and for that I talked to the teachers and the mentors here at CLAT Possible. They uh, asked me to like watch the YouTube classes that were taken and uh, even uh, during the classes uh, we uh, they provided us with notes and the uh, PPTs. So they helped me a lot uh, to like get a better score in GK in the end. So yeah, that was it. Uh, Ashwit, uh, any two or three reasons if more, more the merrier that uh, would make you recommend CLAT possible to your juniors? Right, definitely hard work and for that I talked to the teachers and the mentors here at CLAT possible. They uh, asked me to like watch the YouTube classes that were taken and uh, even uh, during the classes uh, we uh, they provided us with notes and the uh, PPTs. So they helped me a lot uh, to like get a better score in GK in the end. So yeah, that was it. Uh, Ashwit, uh, any two or three reasons if more more the merrier that uh, would make you recommend CLAT possible to your juniors? Right definitely I mean like uh, CLAT possible has been a very close partner of mine if I have to say about my CLAT journey and I dedicate a lot of my success to them only. So it has been like the mocks that are provided here at CLAT possible they are very very helpful to be very honest and they help you gain insight about the main paper also like how to approach certain sections, uh, which questions to do first and which to do later. And also the mentors here are very approachable. I've, got my, I've gotten like my doubts cleared at like late in the night even. I've called teachers and uh, they are never like, uh, it was never like they didn't pick up my call. They responded all the time and that is not something that you can find uh, in most of the places. So that is something that's unique about at uh, CLAT Possible and that is why I would recommend it to the 2024 aspirants as well. Thank you so much Ashmit and all the best with NLS. I'm sure you'll do well at college. You look 